Welcome dear students, I am Mr. Abhijit. Welcome to my channel Chemistry Learners. So in this lecture we are going to see Boyle's law. So this is the fundamental law of a gas which explains the relation between the pressure and volume. So let us see the Boyle's law, its statement and what are the mathematical expressions that can be given and we will see the uh, actual examples of Boyle's law and the last limitations of Boyle's law. Now we will see what is the statement of Boyle's law. The law states that at constant temperature the pressure of a given amount of a gas is inversely proportional to its volume. Now if you see the temperature is constant and it is the relation between the pressure and volume. So according to this, what is the relation? It is inversely proportional. Now this Boyle's law is given in other words, if the temperature and the amount of gas are kept constant, if you keep the temperature and amount of gas constant, an increase in the pressure of the gas will result in decrease in the volume and vice versa. Means what happens here? If temperature and the amount of gas, means volume of gas, are kept same, okay, and if you increase the pressure, so what happens? There is decrease in the volume. Volume kya ho jayega? Decrease ho jayega. Ya fir, if you do it reverse, if you decrease the pressure, volume will be increases. So this is the Boyle's law. One of the fundamental law that gives the relationship between the pressure and volume at the constant temperature. Now mathematically, this Boyle's law can be written as like this. The pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. Means, if you take this volume at this side, what happens? P into V is equal to constant, where this P is pressure of a gas. V is volume of the gas and it depends on the amount of gas and at the constant temperature. But how it works? We will see how it works. So mathematically we have seen the equation. Now we will see if I take the example. Suppose if you comparing two different states of the gas at constant temperature. If you have temperature constant, then Boyle's law can express kar sakte ho? According to the equation, PV is equal to constant. Okay, so if I write the P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2, so what are these P1 and V1 and P2 and V2? They are nothing but the initial and final states of the gas. So what states? P1 is the initial pressure, V1 is the initial volume, likewise, P2 is the final pressure and V2 is the Final volume. Okay. So, according to this, if I give the example, I am taking the example. If a gas occupies a volume of 2 liter, volume diya hai gas ka 2 liter at the pressure of 1 atmospheric. So, it is pressure and if the pressure is increased to 2 atmosphere, fir se yaha pe pressure diya hai, usse increase kiya hai. What is the new volume? Volume kya hoga? Now if I apply the formula P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. So what are the states? Now if you consider gas occupies the volume 2 liter means it is the V1 volume at the pressure that is P1 pressure. And if I am changing the state, what I am changing? I am increasing the pressure. Pressure mein kya kar raha hu? Increase kar raha hu. Matlab maine pressure kya kiya? Change kiya. Ye aapka ho gaya P2. Now, what is the new volume means what is the V2. Now, you have to calculate the V2. Now, if you consider this formula and if you arrange this formula for V2, it comes as P1 V1 divided by P2 is equal to V2. Understand? And if I put the values of this P1 V1 and P2, it comes around P1 is 2 into V1 is 1 
डिवाइडेड बाय P2 P2 की वैल्यू क्या है आपकी फिर से 2 है इक्वल टू V2 तो so, ये 2 कैंसल्स एंड V2 आ गया आपका 1 सो so, V2 टू बिकम्स वन मीन्स वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस एज आई हैव इंक्रीज द प्रेशर ये अभी स्टेटमेंट फिर से देखो ध्यान से इफ आई हैव इंक्रीज द प्रेशर वॉल्यूम क्या हुआ है देखो डिक्रीज हुआ है वॉल्यूम इज डिक्रीजेस पहले वॉल्यूम क्या था टू लीटर था अब वॉल्यूम क्या हो गया है वन लीटर हो गया है दैट इज द बॉइल्स लॉ अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वील सी वॉट इज द लिमिटेशन ऑफ द बॉइल्स लॉ बॉइल्स लॉ इज ओनली वैलिड फॉर द आइडियल गैसेस आइडियल गैसेस अंडर द कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर इफ यू कंसिडर द आइडियल गैस द बॉइल्स लॉ इज ओनली एप्लीकेबल फॉर द आइडियल गैस एट एक्सट्रीमली हाई प्रेशर इफ यू हैव अप्लाइड द एक्सट्रीम हाई प्रेशर और एक्सट्रीम लो टेम्परेचर द रियल गैसेस डेविएट्स फ्रॉम द आइडियल बिहेवियर दिस इज अगेन द लिमिटेशन ऑफ दिस बॉइल्स लॉ नाउ विल सी रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल्स इफ यू कंसिडर द स्क्वीज बॉटल इफ आई अप्लाई द प्रेशर ऑन द स्क्वीज बॉटल वट एपन्स द गैस फ्रॉम द और द एयर फ्रॉम दैट स्क्वीज बॉटल गेट रिलीज मीन्स वॉट आई एम डूइंग आई एम इंक्रीजिंग प्रेशर एंड वॉट एपन्स वॉल्यूम इज डिक्रीजेस the second example if you see here the syringe if i press the syringe what happens there is a gas in the syringe okay so that gas means that air its volume is decreases if i increase the pressure understand the third example breathing if you breathe if you inhale the oxygen and if you exhale the carbon dioxide what happens the diaphragm of your body is going to contract and going to expand so this actually the real life example of the boyle's law in this way we have seen the boyle's law its statement its mathematical expression how it is given for initial and final conditions and according to this we have also seen one example on the basis of the boyle's law with this we stop here for such important and informative videos please subscribe to my channel chemistry learners and don't forget to press bell icon button thank you